So this is a view you guys don't get to see very often. I do a lot of overhead camera shooting and I wanted to make a couple of DIY solutions. So what I do is I have a couple different mounts that I use. They're usually both up there at the same time. And I use these mounts while my phone is Chromecasting to an old Android TV box. So basically whatever's going on on my phone gets broadcast to that screen. So I don't have to try to look through the viewfinder of the phone. So this mount here is an Ikea Frack bathroom mirror and it already has a quarter 20 screw on it which is perfect for a camera mount and so you can see I can push it in and push it out and I can pivot it to the side when I'm not using it, it lays flat. I can even roll it up if I want to. Uh, it just is held on there by one tech screw so you can, this is a cheap camera mount, we'll talk about those more in a minute but this is uh this is the basic setup and it's really good for getting way out here on either side and allowing me to do side shots. Now the second one is actually a microphone stand that somebody suggested I give it a try. I wish I could actually remember who it was. It was somebody awesome in the Facebook group, but this thing clamps up here to the bench and this allows you to come and get higher and lower and drop this thing all around. And basically what it came with was this weird adapter for a microphone and I was able to just take that out and stick a normal quarter 20 bolt in there and just replace I replaced this with this and then that allows me to mount to this. So the reason for that long bolt is that I wanted to be able to put some kind of either wing nut or this is actually like a little coupler on there so that when the phone is attached I can actually come here and kind of screw that down a little bit and that just stops the phone from like being able to it's not being able to pivot a little bit if you accidentally bump it and so then you get your full range of motion and can move the bar up and down and, and everything like that now that's cool but what makes both of these mounts even more versatile is this other head that I picked up so this little doohickey is about two for seven dollars I think on Amazon and they're kind of versatile because you can quarter 20 thread in here, quarter 20 thread in the back, and you really do need the back to make this work. Like the back is what's going to allow you to film down. And so uh, these are great. They're spring loaded. You can put pretty much any phone in there. I have a Pixel 2 XL and it's plenty big enough for that. But there's another one that I like even better. It's a little bit more money, but I think it adds a lot of versatility. So what I like about this thing, and it's called the Cubo, and it actually came with this tripod and so I kind of grip this and use it a bit as a monopod when I walk around the office and stuff but what's cool about this is that you get this swivel and so you can do a lot of range of motion and then you'll notice on this one side the bar can fit all the way in so you can get some pretty steep angles and so I'll mount that up here and show you what I'm talking about so now I've got the phone and the Cubo and you can see without moving the mount I can actually pivot it way around and then if I were to come this way and this is a good reason for that nut like as I as I move the mount you want to be able to tighten it down a little bit so I can do that and then I can actually point it back this way and get pretty much any angle between loosening and sliding and all that I can pretty much get any angle that I want to get on my bench so now that I've got it up here on the monopod you can see that all I did was mount this thing with one single tech screw and then that's plenty strong enough that I can pull it out and slide it around. And uh, this one mounts up here with this T-handle screw and the big flat end on that side. And uh, it holds up here really well. I think with it being upside down like that, if I was going to keep this up all the time, I'd probably shoot a tech screw through there, probably pre-drill it. And uh, you have to play around with these little springs a little bit. You have to tension them and, and kind of play around with the knobs and kind of get that to to work where you want it to but once you do that it'll all pretty much stay where you want it to and you can see I'm able to get down here pretty close to my bench I can get pretty much all the way down I've got maybe a foot there uh, I don't know what's that 30 centimeters yeah so I mentioned the tripod that came with the head and it's pretty cool it's uh you know it's your normal tabletop tripod but it can spread way out and that could be a plus or minus it's got a nice stable base but you can also extend these little arms out and things like that so you know basically you buy the kit and it comes with a GoPro mount it comes with the twisty head which is the reason why I bought it and then you get this tripod monopod combo so yeah I hope this stuff helps somebody out I've asked a few youtubers to show me how they did what they did and they had some really cool setups but I wanted to keep mine off the desk and out of the way and 
This is what I came up with. Thanks for watching.